This is Milford Haven Port, the sixth largest in the United Kingdom, handling about 32 to 34 million tons of cargo every year. About 90% of this traffic consists of tankers, with cargoes of oil and gas destined for the three refineries sited here. There are 10,000 movements in and out of the harbour each year, with the size of the ships varying from 1,000 tonnes up to 300,000 tonnes. The harbour is set in the heart of the Pembrokeshire coastline. At the entrance stands St Anne's Head. This headland was to form the backdrop to a major environmental incident, a vantage point to a real drama, an unfolding situation that demanded a skilled and concerted response from many individuals and organisations. Their common task, the preservation of the Pembrokeshire coastline. This is a, a Cessna 404, a remote sensing aircraft. It's got um, radar, infrared, ultraviolet, various cameras and all the latest navigation and communications equipment that we can pack into it. We have to be uh, airborne within half an hour during daylight hours and two hours at night. So we're able to mount a full operation from six o'clock in the morning, the day after the spill. We've got seven DC-3s that can carry four tons of dispersant each. And it's a continuous operation. And then when it comes to controlling, I direct the aircraft onto the spray uh, patterns and tell them when to put their spray on and off.